another life update, guys. I currently have $3 in my bank account. I don't even know how that happens. Uh, so I'm actually headed up to Panera Bread because I got to use gift cards. I don't have any money. I wanted to go get more Diet Pop. I ran out of Diet Pop. I need something. I have no money. I have to use gift cards. I have a nice Panera Bread gift card. So I'm going to go up there, get a sandwich, film it. We'll see what I get. Maybe I get a salad. I don't know. I'm probably going to get a sandwich though. I need to ration everything. Um, $3. I look at my bank account this morning. I'm like, I'm supposed to be getting some money in, but these people, they won't. The shipping, it's taking a while. I haven't gotten any money in and I'm just like, oh my God, I got to pay for subscriptions. Not sexual subscriptions, just like stuff like, you know, monthly stuff, things like that. Um, so I, it makes no sense to me. I didn't realize how bad it was, um, but I'm going to Panera Bread. So that's always a plus. Just to update everyone on the Diet Pop situation, it is rough, ladies and gentlemen. It's DEFCON Zero. I am not drinking this crap. It's caffeine-free. It doesn't taste like anything. I've been having to drink these mangoes. And guys, the mangoes actually are not that bad. I was bad-mouthing them. I literally have one left. I have one left. All the diet. I can't believe they have a drive through here. Ha <laughs> ha. You gotta love it. Panera Bread. Some clean eating. Some clean eating. I got my gift card right here. Gonna have to use that. Hi, welcome to the store. Hi, you can go have whenever you're ready. Okay, hold on, give me a second. Okay, take your time. This is gonna be a while. I don't know what I want. Toasted smokehouse BBQ chicken. <sighs> Look at that, top left. Let me get the uh, toasted smokehouse BBQ chicken, just the half. Yeah, uh, what are your guy? What's the diet pop situation? What are your guys' options there? For diet Pepsi. That's it. Yeah. All right, I'll take that. But I don't want the chips. I don't know. You put chips there. We have apple or a baguette. Apple. Okay. Anything else? That'll be it. Okay, nine thirty-eight. You're all set. Thank you. Guys, notice the apple selection. I actually, don't do. Oh, this is the twenty-five dollar gift card. Thank God. I nearly freaking missed that turn. Look at that dude's custom license plate. Dude, I I hate custom license plates. I hate them. They're so annoying. Guys, notice the, um, I changed it from chips to, to an apple. I've been really eating a lot of apples recently. This is a nice new Panera bread and they really only had the Diet Pepsi. I mean, what the, I thought they would have had more options than that, unfortunately. But I got my gift card. I have three dollars in my bank account, but you do you use the gift cards, guys. You utilize the gift cards. That's what I'm saying. Look at how many get. Oh my goodness, Dairy Queen. What do we got here? Subway. Are you kidding me? This is historic stuff. Can't get them out. What was this one? Chick Fil A. I still got more Chick. Oh, I got the Chick Fil A. Oh, I got the Chipotle. That's a Chipotle right there. Isn't there? Uh, I got two more Subways. It looks like. Subway. I think I still have like, I'm gonna still have like $10 left on this Panera. This dude with his custom license plate literally takes 40 minutes to get his order. What did you order, big boy? Three tortillas? Dude, what is going on? I'm getting concerned. It's been about four minutes. Oh, finally. Jesus. Can you please go? This smells really good, guys. I'm just gonna be honest. Smells amazing. I literally, the lady said I only have $3 left on this gift card. I was cutting it close because I, I literally have no money in my bank account right now. I don't know how I would have paid for that. Maybe with pennies. Maybe I could have paid them with pennies. Stay inside. Stay inside. Uh, what a beautiful day it is. I figure I'll eat it out here, guys. A little disappointed. What do we got here? Oh, we, we got our apple. Yeah. Whoops. We got our apple. A little disappointed with the diet pop situation at, um, let me just put this down right here, at Panera Bread. I'm like, what's, what's going on with the diet pop? They're like, uh, we have diet Pepsi. I was expecting a bunch of different options. And guys, the diet Pepsi, quite honestly, it's not good. You're, the, the zero sugar stuff is always better than the diet Pepsi, the zero sugar stuff. This is a, do I have... I don't even have the receipt. I believe this was a chicken BBQ 
something or another. Only 380 calories. Really great news there. So this is really just like a snack. Um, and quite honestly, it is a little bit small, but looks pretty. Oh, it smells good. I, I get this is gonna be good, guys. This is gonna be good. I'm just disappointed the drink is not doing it for me. Diet pop is such a major asset in so many different people's lives. <laughs> Somebody commented saying, you know, on my, one of my YouTube videos, they said, you're the only skinny person I know that likes Diet Pop. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Let's try this BBQ turkey bacon. This smells good. A little dry. A little dry. I can taste, there's a lot of cheese on this. Tastes, you know, cheesy. I don't know about, oh, this is the BBQ right here. Um, I don't know about these onions. I'll probably just eat onions right now, raw. Yeah. But guys, when it comes to my current uh, life situation, it is uh, dire at this point. You know, I have $3, whatever. I'm waiting for some payments. Some payments are coming in, but um, yeah, I might actually have to be working at freaking Cedar Point, uh, which is this major amusement park uh, about an hour away from my house. Um, I have to be living down there maybe. I don't know. I don't want to do this, guys. The living conditions, this is like Nazi Germany stuff here, guys. This is, this is, you're going to be, I'm sharing a room with three other dudes. The room is smaller than my room. Like, what is this? Let me just eat this one. Honestly, guys, I don't want to do this. This is tough to get down. I don't want to do this. But for the video, I might just try and eat this as fast as possible. For the video, I might do it. We'll see. But guys, my life situation right now, $3 in my bank account. I'm hopefully waiting for some money. Uh, but dude, if I, my mom's literally saying, listen, the thing is I got accepted for the job. Like I got in, but I'm trying to delay it now because I'm like, oh, you know, we'll see what happens. They haven't came back to me. My mom's like, if you get accepted for this job, your ass is gone. You know, that's what she said. That, that's basically how it is. So, um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to say anymore, guys. The reason I do the vlogs, you know, why don't I do something that helps the YouTube algorithm more or something like that is because I view the vlogs as like, if, you, if you're going to subscribe to me, I want you to subscribe to, for, for my personality, right? Not for like my content, you know, obviously the whole March Madness thing. I got some nice views off of March Madness. It was fun to do whatever, but it's like March Madness is once a year. Like what am I like? I can't just keep talking about March Madness. Like I can't fill out a March Madness 2027 bracket, you know, like I can only do that once a year. So I, the reason I started doing vlogs, I want, if people are going to subscribe to me, I want them to subscribe for, you know, because of me, because of my personality, because of the way I do videos, because people find me funny, they find my personality funny. And obviously it's been a major, you know, it's been a major disaster. It's been a, we're at vlog 40 now. We're losing subscribers because people subscribe to me for the March Madness. Guys, there's no March Madness. What do you want me to do? You want me to fill out a 2029 bubble? Like who's on the bubble for 2027? Like there's nothing to do. I don't know. You subscribe to me for March Madness. There's no March Madness. I, what do you, when there's March Madness, next March, I'll do March Madness if I'm around for that long. Like what do you want me to do? All right. I'm going to eat the rest of this as fast as I possibly can. You guys may think, oh, you're skinny, whatever guys, I've been ripping through food because I was on a very unhealthy diet and my body's like, you need food, food, food. So I'm constantly hungry. I'm going to try and rip through this as fast as possible. The rest of this. Get it down. I don't want to show you that, but that was good, man. I got to be honest, I still have about $4 left on that gift card. I might have to run up there tomorrow um, if I get money in my bank account because it's obviously not going to cover. That was like $9 for that. That's a little bit ridiculous. But obviously, guys, just a little snack. It was, you know, quite honestly, I can't really recommend that if you're on a diet or anything. It's 380 calories and I finished it quickly. This apple, it's not even ripe. You hate seeing it. I love apples though. Um, you know, they get you get nice fiber out of them. They're only, this is probably like, this is a minier one. This is probably 70 calories, whatever. 
Guys, I actually filmed some clips yesterday. This is vlog is like over three days. There's clips from everywhere because I just didn't get enough footage to make it one vlog. So the vlog number 40 is like from three days. So I'm gonna, I think I'll show some clips from yesterday, which was the 4th of July. It was a complete bust. Um, we really didn't see any fireworks from our house. We didn't go anywhere. I just kind of sat in my room and drank a bunch of A&W. Diet A&W. Zero sugar, excuse me, A&W, which has no caffeine. And, you know, I drank about six of the things that had to go to the bathroom about 50 different times last night. It was not good. Um, but I'll show you some clips. You guys need to see this. Please admire my great grass cutting abilities, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the 4th of July. It is amazing right now. It's about 75, maybe 80 degrees. It's going to get to about 85 today. Really hot. Happy 4th of July, everyone. The vibe right now. Anytime it's a holiday, it seems to be a good vibe. And you know what? I thought I would take this time, take a moment to give you guys my official holiday rankings where I rank all the holidays. I'll do a quick rapid fire thing. Uh, my favorite holiday it is Halloween, guys. I love the fall. I love October. It's my favorite time of the year. I love it. Second favorite holiday, Thanksgiving. Love Thanksgiving. I love that time of the year. You got Halloween, Thanksgiving. My third favorite holiday, it's going to be Christmas. Fourth favorite holiday, maybe Fourth of July. I mean, how many holidays are there at that point? Easter. You know, Easter is a very specific one to where it needs to rain and there's a certain time period. It's like a week time period. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like there's a week in April where the like the uh, the flowers start coming up, and it, like right after a rain, you go outside, you get this smell. It's amazing. Um, so, but Easter, yeah, I really don't like Easter that much. Fourth of July, Memorial Day is really not a big one. Um, so yeah, those were my holiday rankings, guys. Um, I love the fall. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait for the fall. I just want. Oh, I love it. I just read a comment on my YouTube channel where someone said their aunt forced their cousin to become transgender before she hit puberty. Nothing surprises me anymore, guys. Ugh, nothing surprises me. It, it, it's crazy. Look at these chicken burgers I got grilling up. Got a nice little leaf there. I'm not even sure what concoction this is. They smell good though. You know it's bad when you gotta start counting out spare change out of your change drawer. I gotta get $2 worth to get a small bag of ice. This is miserable, folks. I gotta get $2 worth of this stuff. I found a quarter at home. I was like, holy crap. Indiana. Indiana, guys, I got to count out $2. I got 10 dimes and then one. There's literally no quarters. I siphoned all the quarters off, I guess, another time. I'm forced. I look at all these dimes. I'm trying to pay for one small bag of ice that's $2. Guys, I legitimately had six of those zero sugar A&W root beer drinks last night. I mean, without the caffeine, those things just go down like water. And I, I think I legitimately woke up. I think I legitimately woke up to pee about six times last night. Oh my God. They, without the caffeine, there's no caffeine in them. You'd think they taste bad. They taste the exact same. They go down so easily. You can just keep drinking them. I got to limit myself because I, I mean, I wake up at like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., literally just to pee. That's it. And then I just go back to sleep. Like six times last night, it, it was like a world record. 